The Final Fantasy XV crossover event is finally back, and this is actually quite amazing news for anyone that has had their eyes on the incredible real-world-esque clothing, which is going to be the Lucian Princess attire or that badass old-school car mount. And honestly, I really do want to get as much attention to people who might be on, like, hiatus from Final Fantasy XIV for this event, because, my god, guys, the amount of times that I've been asked where I got this glam, or the car from, or the OST, the music, so you can actually get the music for your house, has just been mind-blowing, and so it's just like, I really Really want to signal boost this event as much as I can. Like guys, it doesn't even need to necessarily be my video. Obviously I'd love it if you guys gave the support here, but like share this event with anyone, grab your friends. Like there are a lot of people just waiting to resub at Endwalker, but a lot of those same people probably will want these event items. I really should say like FOMO or I should just say the full word out. Uh, fear of missing out with this event is actually really real. So on that note, let's go over the rewards for doing this event, and this event will land you this absolutely legendary Batman car. I don't care what anyone else says, this is the Batman car to me, and I love this car, and I'm gonna, like, slap the roof of the car. You can fit so many people into this car. <laughs> Memes aside, you can literally fit four people into it, and this... how to say it... <laughs> The last time that this event was out, guys, was around the time that Eureka, and so I remember myself grinding it out in Eureka, and just, it was kind of really hilarious to see people just driving around in massive zergs of these cars to shuffle people around, because, like, does anyone else remember Eureka and how it did not let you mount up until you hit a certain point in leveling and that? To say the least, ferrying people around Eureka in these cars was a huge deal back then for the Stormblood Relics. But also aside from that, it has a nice classic aesthetic that really looks kind of like a real world car, like one of those old classic cars, one of those cars that I'll never be able to afford in my life. <laughs> but it really stands out massively in the crowd from this aesthetic. And like, especially if you hit flying and like the bottom comes out and it's just like, Batman. Na -na 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 Batman. <laughs> I don't care if I'm stupid, I love it guys. Also the glamour, oh my god. I, I know that my aesthetic, my personal aesthetic for the game is a lot of the time I like to go with more real world type glamours. I know someone's gonna like link in the comments, oh, he says that as he wears the super RGB tank set. I I, I, I I know, but a lot of the time I do like going with like real world glamour set on like my range DPS or all my healers. Like if I, like I usually go with that like big poofy park and then I like, cut off the sleeves because I'm from, I, I'm from that part of Canada guys. And so we do it that way in the winter and we wear shorts sometimes too with it. <laughs> but there's no denying in my mind that Lucian's Princess Tire is right up there on my favorite list of glamours. This relaxed graphic t-shirt is just so amazing, and it has like the level of detail. Even on a bigger model, like I am literally a max height Rothgar, you still are getting pretty solid details, and it's not pixelating too heavy even when you zoom super in. Like you have the zipper pockets here and there, you have the nice graphic on the front, you have the sewed up leather on the arms, and the detailed buttons, like even the buttons have the details. And even on the arms, you get these like backwards, upward, foldy flippy things strap things it has a button i don't know why these sort of things but i love it these level of details are really important and maybe it's to buckle up the t-shirt so the jacket doesn't go flying off with how much i jump around in combat that's not actually that bad of idea if you've ever watched like my raid footage in the background and like see me on a range dvs you know i'm like boingy 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 also it has that one-handed glove with nice padding which simply makes sense to me especially because like if you play a bard or a machinist and like get that like kickback it's just like it makes sense to have the like padding there and especially like when you're holding the bow it just seems right you know I probably got it reversed and so real archers in real life are gonna probably judge me for that. But also the pants are nice and baggy, those shoes are amazing, and the level of detail, I'm I'm gonna also say this, and I mean disclaimer, this is obviously a joke, but it they're rub they're red bottom shoes. It, it, they're, they're Louis Vuittons. Look ma, I got Louis Vuittons. <laughs> I've always been a fan of the set and there's no denying that I'm not alone in this. Not to mention there are so many music scrolls for the houses, and I am seriously a huge fan of the 15 series and like <laughs> series. The 15 game in this Final Fantasy series and its OST is just so good, and we're getting some amazingly iconic songs from it, and to say the least, go out and make sure that you pick them up. I've been using these songs in the background of this video if you're wanting to know like what is the, some of them. And so even if you only have an apartment, why not have an apartment playing bang? your music get them also you can pick up for mgp hairstyle like the lucia park spiky style rest in peace rothgar and viera i don't even it doesn't fit my aesthetics but i know a lot of people it really does and then the noctis card you can even get a title that you can use here and so pick them up but that is more than enough of rewards <laughs> 
<laughs> and you can start this quest line by talking to Kepia Jakia, which I know I can't pronounce these names, guys. Kepia Jakia in Ulda, the steps of Null, just outside of the Aetherite Plaza, specifically at coordinates X of 8. 0.5 and then y of 9.7 and this is going to start a quest chain that i gotta say i did love doing back in the day and for anyone else that is in the same boat as me we can actually use the replay feature here which i don't know if any events have had this in the past have they i might be having a brain fart here but i really liked having this feature here and props to the devs for thinking about us older players if they this is a brand new feature because this is something that i did go through this is going to take you through a series of quests that really i'm going to be honest had me feeling pretty nostalgic for 15 and with brand new enemy designs and a few cool fights like at the end fight when you're fighting a particular thing no spoilers here like you're whipping back and forth with a skill and it, it just feels really good so by the end of the quest line you should have obtained a bunch of rewards but you're not done yet. There's a repeatable fate just out near Blackbrush Station that you can farm the fate called Light Clockwork. And that's going to respawn every few minutes. I think some people are like saying 10 minutes or so. And then you can just head out there, take down the boss over and over again, and get all of the unidentified magic tech boxes that you need. Gold rewards for this fate is going to net you with two of them. And it's really not that hard to get gold ranking, even as you can see in the footage that I've just been playing in the background. I just did it on Scholar, as you can see. So really not that hard to do, guys. It's totally accessible. So now that that you have the unidentified magic tech boxes what you do is you take them back to black rush station and then you speak with the ironworks hand at coordinates x 21.5 and y 18.0 and then she's going to give you a bunch of music scrolls and as i said before these are really awesome and so i do recommend just take the like 10 minutes or so or whatever and like farm out this fate and get all of these the ff15 ost is so good now for the last noteworthy area to go you can buy event rewards from the ironworks vendor in the gold saucer and yeah you heard me right the gold saucer this is something that so many people miss and so don't be that person totally make sure you get here too so he's going to be at coordinates of x 5.2 and y of 6.3 and you can buy the title for 200,000 mgp and so yeah that's pretty penny and that's going to be a title that you guys know is going to be a rare title in a few years and so the special lucian locks hair and the triple triad card from the noctis from him like, so make sure that you don't miss out on this. I cannot emphasize this enough. Hopefully you still have some MGP left over from the Make It Rain event. But if not, then check out my ultimate guide to the Golden Saucer and making MGP. Thank you so much for helping me with that, man. But anyhow, I am going to just keep a link to that in the description. And I really do hope that this helps you out. Anyhow, that does it for this video. So what are your thoughts on the events? Maybe what's your favorite item? Favorite song? I mean, if you've listened to the LST, let me know what your favorite song is from this list. Or anyhow, I know a lot of people who are waiting for these items for a long time, and guys, it is amazing. It actually makes me so freaking happy seeing these uh, items back, because so many people that I talked to over the past years or so, it, it, it's like, now you finally have the opportunity to get these items yourself, and so... I'm just really happy it actually makes me feel like all these bubbly good feelings seeing this event back because I know so many people wanted it. And help take care and enjoy the event. 